Hi there guys, I'm Dr. Dapplin, board certified laser dermatologist. Today's topic we'll be talking about acne scarring and the real life experience from, uh, from patients. So this is real life acne scar revision processes. Okay, so in um, the medical field, um, we talk, so I talk from a medical point of view and not a cosmetic point of view. From a medical point of view, I believe that acne scarring is a medical condition, it's not cosmetic, okay? Um, and there are three factors and three factors only which de determine how successful we are in regards to scar revision. First of all, it's the skin type of the patient, the skin color of the patient. Um, secondly, the scar type, which is the most important, so the acne scar type, whether it be ice pick scars, rolling scars, atrophic scars, box scar scarring, hypertrophic scarring, uh, mixed scarring, all sorts of scarring, right? So the scar type of the patient, which is most important. And last of all, the downtime. So with any of these energy devices, whether we're using a Fraxel, or whether we're using Infini, or whether we're using a CO2 or an Erbium, or um, any of these laser devices is associated downtime with it. Now, acne scar revision processes, as much like dental work or orthodontic, orthodontic work, very rarely does a patient present with um, one type of acne scar. Um, this is the exception. So if you have scars like this, uh, which you'll see shortly, um, uh, scars like this can be treated with an ablative laser and usually one treatment is enough. But that's the exception rather than the rule. So this patient only had one treatment with an eight day recovery um, and the results are quite, quite good. So these are exceptional cases compared to um, most of acne scarring, which usually consists of mixed scars. Now this patient is one of my favorite patients for the year. Um, Izzy, thanks a lot for letting me um, film this. Um, you've been a great patient. Um, you had realistic outcomes. Um, and hey, look, thanks for putting your trust in me, um, taking my advice on what is the best treatment uh, for you, uh, given your downtime of only one day, or two days. Um, so Izzy's well, um, she's well informed, she's, well, she's extremely dedicated. Um, she had two filler treatments followed by about five or six uh, CO2 um, laser treatments. Why did I use CO2 instead of Infini, which is my favorite Infini PRP? It's, it's because of insurance purposes, um, that's all. Um, otherwise, I would prefer Infini and PRP up with CO2 at this moment in time. Her journey began in October 2015 when she saw me having failed multiple treatments in the past. Examination reveals that she has mixed scars including atrophic, tethered, rolling and isolated box scar scarring in skin type 2. So you can see the difference it's made in one year. It took me one year to get to this level with multiple treatments. Okay, I first started with fillers. Why did I start with fillers? It's basically because on angle lighting, she had so much atrophic scars that I knew from the very start, from the absolute very start, that she would need to have fillers and subcision because I could not, not stimulate enough collagen in that short period of time. So fillers will give, give her the biggest improvement with the shortest um, downtime. Sorry, man, that's a little bit uncomfortable. Okay guys, this is what I call my subcision uh, together with tunneling technique. This reduces the formation of lumps. And this one's here. Yep. So I, I've only got a tiny bit of fill left, but we'll see what we can do. So mirror down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll see what we can do with actually your temple first. So obviously you'll need a few sessions, but we'll blib it up, blib it up. And then I get a blib, squish it down. Temple should be sorted so shortly. Okay, I'll blend this up again. Superficial, blend, blend, blend. And squish it down. I'll hydrate this bit here as well. Tiny blend. Okay. So, um, can you turn on the lights, please? And tell me what you think. Oh my god. What do you think? Yeah, that's amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, that's amazing. What do you think? Yeah, that's good. Oh my god. <laughs> you happy? Yeah. I know, I know you're a little bit startled because you're just going, how the hell did that happen? But yeah. Holy, I'm startled too. Oh my God.
Oh, sweetie, look at you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So what was next was CO2 laser. I like using CO2 in a fractional, but also spot the ablation mode. I prefer using a CO2 core because it's more adjustable compared to a CO2 fraxel. We were treating mixed scars here. She still has a few, um, I think some uh, shallow ice pick scars, um, box scar scarring, mixed, mixed scars, and a few tethered and atrophic scars as well. So we're using a CO2 laser here. And here we go. So I try not to overlap yet, and I will overlap later on. In the more severe areas, like up here, I'll probably overlap four or five times. Her dedication is unbelievable because she basically has one um, of these laser sessions every eight weeks. Um, so you can see the results shortly. Uh, Isabella, hey, how's it going? I'm good, how are you? Good, Sorry. good. <laughs> Look, um, you've been one of my favorite patients over the last um, year, yeah. Um, we've really worked hard on things. Um, I guess the, the harshest critic is the patient, mm -hmm. which is you. How do you feel about the treatments? Yeah, I just think from the start it was amazing. We started with the fillers and it was just instantaneous. And yep. then... Um, then we moved on to yeah we're on co2 lasers now yeah which um i really like them because like you said they're better than the fraxel they're quick yeah recovery time's good and i just notice so much more of an improvement i can just yeah you know, it sucks that we live in an age where this is something that you know we value about ourselves but it is yep. and i can live my life better than i ever thought i'd be able to and i'm happy and i don't think about it barely at all anymore so cool like yeah i'm just stoked very good. Yes. And, but it's taken a while, hasn't it? Yeah, it has I mean, it's, it's yeah. been a year, but yeah. I've been more or less doing it since 2010. So yeah. when I get more results in that year than I got in the previous four, that is like not doesn't seem that long to me at all. So, cool. Yeah. Hey, thanks for that, mate. No so there you have it, guys. That's a real life experience from a patient who's had acne scar revision concise from um, that year's treatment to um, two or three minutes you see in this video. So this is the real life experience of a um, an acne scar patient or a patient which I normally get with mixed scars. Um, it's much like orthodontic work with your teeth. Um, you know, you, you go in with crooked teeth, and you know, 18 months later, your teeth are straighter. It's exactly the same with scar revision. Um, pity I didn't have orthodontic work when I was younger, but um, <laughs> that, that's what I'm trying to get at. It's it's. Um, it's very similar. It's a step-by-step -step process by which each time when a patient visits me, their skin gets better compared to um, the last. It's a slow process, it's an ongoing process, and you're very lucky to have scars which lie in the same plane. Most patients come in with mixed scarring, and as a result, I've got to use multiple modalities or multiple types of treatments uh, for the scar type. Guys, thanks very much for watching this video on acne scar revision. Um, you'll have more to come over the next couple of months when I present my Infinity PRP um, combination. Uh, that's going to be a good video. Uh, and I'll keep you up to date. We're getting another laser in another six weeks. It'll be a great laser. It's a CO2 combined with it. So it's going to be a really, really good CO2. 160 watt CO2 together with an um, uh, 1550 um, non-ablative laser. So it's basically combining a CO2 with Fraxel, but double the strength. Uh, can't wait to play with that gadget. Uh, hey guys, thanks for watching the video. And um, yeah, well, subscribe if you like this and um, I'll keep you up to date with the latest and greatest stuff. Um, see you on Saturdays. Look, thanks very much for watching this rather long video. Um, I try to do educational videos and I would love you to subscribe for more information. I post a video up every Saturday um, Brisbane time in Australia. Um, the other thing as well is that I am on Instagram so I try to post uh, maybe two or three videos um, a week uh, so if you're really bored uh, and you want to learn something new follow me on Instagram. Once again thanks for watching this video and remember to subscribe for more information. Thanks, bye!